One of the questions I get asked often as a Jewish country music artist is whether I write a lot of prayer music. And while I have written a lot of prayer music, I don't do it often. And the reason for that is because I try very hard to approach any prayer, if I'm going to write one, with a lot of intention. I may not have a need to write a version of a prayer. There may not be a need for me to write, you know, this or this or this. Uh, but when that need does arise, and I feel very called and I feel very strongly about writing a version of it, I think long and hard about what do I have to say about that? Does the kavanah in the music match the kavanah of the prayer? Do these make sense together? Do they sing together? Does it work? Not just does it fit, you know, uh, the rhythm of what we're doing, or can I, you know, I never want to just pair a melody up with a with a prayer. I, I don't enjoy that for me personally, and I don't enjoy that in my writing. So I try very hard to make sure that when I am going to write a prayer, right, I'm going to write, especially if it's a new version of a prayer or melody, I want to make sure that the kavanah is there. I want to make sure the direction of the heart is there. I want to make sure that it's done with intention and that there's a need for me to do that so that it's personal. Um, and so that's, so that's how I, <laughs> that's why I don't do it very often. Uh, but I have written quite a few over the years. And one of those is an Ose Shalom. I'm going to play it for you, but I'm going to tell you the story of it first, very quickly. My aunt, um, my aunt left the world a couple of years ago and she was a good, good person. One of the kindest, sweetest, big hearted, just a very giving human being and wasn't you know she was wild and she was an absolute light and it was a better world with her in it and she left and um that has never stopped being hard and i wrote this Ose shalom as a kind of a reflection and 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 something that happened on her back porch and i always think about her when i play it and i think about her now that we're going into the studio to record this for the for the new album, I was uh, I was on my aunt's back porch a Saturday morning. I had just done a show the previous night. It was one of the uh, first shows I'd ever been paid to do, and uh, and it went great. It was a good show, but I was being so hard on myself about everything that I did. I was upset that you know I didn't come in with a verse fast enough. I was upset that maybe I, for a, a half second I hit the wrong chord before going into the next set. Like all these little things that a lot of people don't notice, but musicians like we just sort of take stock of. And I felt terrible. Uh, I was being extremely hard on myself. And I'm sitting there in this backyard, and the, the wind is kind of moving through the trees. And it was about in the mid '60s which in Texas is cold, right? Like, we don't know what to do with ourselves. Like 65, I always joke, right? 65 degrees, we start salting the roads and bringing the dogs in and all this stuff. But I was sitting there, and, and as hard as I was being on myself, it was kind of like God kept just sort of pointing out all the good, all these good things that were happening, that were very real. And so I started taking stock of all that stuff. It was a gorgeous day. It was a gorgeous morning. Wind moving through the trees. You could hear the leaves. There were wind chimes um, that were ringing out just beautifully. The coffee was sweet, which I thoroughly love. Uh, my boots were crazy soft. Anyone who's owned a pair of a good pair of Western boots, you know that uh, over time, if you wear them enough, it's just like wearing house shoes all day. So I had a great comfy pair of boots on. And, and I realized that things were pretty good. And there was a lot of good. And the good things in our lives are, are so so much more prevalent than the bad stuff, although all the bad stuff is much louder. It's much more, you know, the volume is greater and it's bombastic. But all the good stuff is, is always there, often quietly so. And it's important that we take stock of that stuff every day. And don't get, don't let our, our souls get steeped in, in the dark and the misery that can exist, uh, but that we'll remember to take stock of all the light and all the goodness in there to help illuminate things so that we can see them a little more clearly. It helps us, helps us do more good in the world and helps keep us strong. It's, a, it's important. I think it's just important. I miss my aunt every day, and um, I think about her every time I play this song. This is my Ose Shalom. It's going to be on the next album. I hope you enjoy it. I 
Well, I like my coffee sweet. I like a wave on the street. I like boots on my feet, and I like everything a little easy. A little easy. And if I haven't met you yet, I can't wait to shake your hand, 'cause we're we're all in the band. So rest easy, yeah, a little easy. So hold on to this life. We're only here for a little while, so stop and breathe. It's all right. Yeah, oh, say shalom bim romai. Who ya say shalom aleinu? Oh, say shalom bim romai. Who ya say shalom aleinu? Vei al kol Yisrael. Vei al kol. Yoshe Teva Ve Imru Imru Amen. O se Shalom Bem Roma, who ya se Shalom Lane. Oh, say shalom bim romav. Who ya say shalom aleinu? They all call Yisrael. They all call Yoshe Teve. I want to take a moment just to thank all the members of our small town tribe. These are the folks that make all of this possible, all these videos and tableside Shabbat and everything that I do online. They're the folks that help make it all happen. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This is such a beautiful community. It's a door holding community, big hearted, kind, loving, just fantastic folks. I'd love for you to meet them. You've probably seen many of them at services that I do online. But if you'd like to join the small town tribe and find out more about it, you can find all that on my website at joebuchananmusic.com. Thanks a bunch, y'all.